This is getting ridiculous. Bad luck, baby. Man, my bad struggle. Oh, come on. Bad replica. Seriously? Bad plunger. Now you're just being stupid. I'm trying to be patient. Bad silk. Stop! <laughs> Bates House. Very cool. All done with Legos. Pretty amazing. We have a stormtrooper. To give you scale, that's my hand, that's the stormtrooper. We have Homer. It's obviously a lot of mixel parts and pieces. I can see you. <laughs> it's all a joke. Okay, so that's the crazy thing. These are little mini figures. As you can see, they're like uh, custom all blacked out mini figures. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. Would have never known that if I didn't see it up close. All right. We got Game of Thrones, Joffrey, the uh, king that everybody loves to hate. I hated him. <laughs> okay, and then we have uh, the Comic Brick series. First one up is um, Star Wars, number 28. And here's the actual comic book cover. And here is the uh, diorama. Pretty cool. Only a hundred dollars too. Yeah. Next one up, Superman Red Sun for sixty dollars. <coughs> Basically, they they're doing dioramas or copies, Lego copies of actual comic book covers. We have uh, Nick Fury and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's the cover. That's the Lego piece set up. As you can see. That's pretty awesome. Next one over is Captain America. Let's see the actual first cover. That's Captain America on number 109. It looks like they took some bionics or hero. Heroic, uh, Hero Factory maybe? 
But look at that. So there's a little like uh, thing right there for the icon. <laughs> they even put a little Captain America minifigure in there. That's pretty awesome. So very cool. We have Ghost Rider. Number one. And that's the uh, that's the Ghost Rider uh, Lego 3D cover. <coughs> well, we have a uh, <coughs> Dark Tower number one. Pretty cool. Then we go up to Ewoks number one. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Very cool. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, seems to have gone missing, so off to Amazing Spider-Man number 700. Pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, interpretation. Captain Marvel number five with Rocket Raccoon. Not bad. That's awesome. We have Walking Dead number 113. <coughs> As you can see. Pretty awesome. Electra number one. So if you can see, those are like little ninjas on her face and make up her face. So this is Electra, but they're actual little mini figures that make up her face. Pretty awesome. We have a uh, Silver Surfer number four. Pretty cool rendition, I mean, interpretation. There's our Silver Surfer. There's Thor on the Rainbow Bridge. <clears throat> then we have uh, the all new, all awesome, Invincible, number 63. So this one's actually pretty awesome too, look. Sorry about the glare, can't do anything about convention lights. But. Look at the detail on that. Pretty awesome. Alright. We have uh, Superman number three from the Legends crossover series. And here we go. Darkseid holding a uh, Lego minifigure. Uh, Superman, that's pretty awesome. Then we go to Iron Man. All right. So number seven or uh, 128. You can't really see it right too well, but there it is. Pretty cool. Swamp Thing, number six. Wow. Then <laughs> we go to Detective Comics, number 27. There's the cover. There's the Lego. Pretty awesome. Wonder Woman, number 266. Wow, very cool. We got the Incredible Hulk, number 59. That's the cover, and that's the Lego cover.
Lethal Foes of Spider-Man, number three. So this will be interesting. So if you look at the cover, it's the mask, and then you have all the the enemies inside the mask or looking through the mask. So here you go. That's pretty amazing. Let's pull it back. All right. <coughs> then we have Superman. The 298. There's the cover. This actually is pretty, pretty cool. Very, very close to the cover, too, if you can see. So, very cool. <coughs> Going over, someone took the Thor. We have Man Wolf number 30. Sorry about the loud uh, people. And then we have a uh, man wolf. Then we have Star Wars number one. So you can see the cover. And then there's the cover of that. They even got little mini X Wing fighters in there. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very cool. Awesome. Really like that. Ah, and here's an awesome one with Akira. So that's the Akira cover, and that is the Akira 3D cover. So not only are there many figures in here, the sign is up here, but as you can see, it's actually built. Really good job on that one. Okay. Oh, cool. We have Adventure Comics 445. Okay. With a bunch of Mixel pieces. <clears throat> There's even a shark in there. Like the comic book cover. There's Aquaman. Being choked. Star Wars 98. So that's a stormtrooper running, taking a shot, and there's like even a mini Millennium Falcon back there. Sorry about the yelling. Some lady was screaming at her kids in Chinese and like yelling. It was freaking me out. Anyways, here we go. Fight arcade game. That's actually really awesome. Look. You have many figures in there and they're throwing down. It goes, fight! Then you have the uh, sword. I think it's a Zelda sword. I could, it could be wrong. Think through build. We got the Tron cycles. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> uh, Ghostbusters Proton Pack. Very, very cool. Another Tron light cycle. Oh, very cool. Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. Very, 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 very cool. Yep. <clears throat> we have a, uh, a guitar back there. And we have a Mixel, Mega Mixel mashup. Which is very cool. Awesome. <clears throat> now we're going to Steampunk Lego, the HMS Crazy Bricks. Well, we really kind of have to take a step back to see this, so. It is massive. I think it's about like three feet high, maybe. So let's, let's take a tour. Hmm. 
I gotta be doing that. Okay, we're picking up because my camera battery overheated and I had to turn it off for a sec. But let's go ahead and take a look at these. First of all, these are custom skeleton uh, minifigures with actual skulls on them. Which I think is very cool. Just some amazing detail. I mean, look at that. They, they even have a droid that scrubs the swabs the deck. In the crow's nest, put the anchor up high. We got another like skeleton uh, minifigure. We have the crazy bricks flag. Now these are like I think custom heads because they're pretty impressive. I mean, let's see if we can get that. Captain Pig. <laughs> I don't know if you can see anything inside it. Doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, and look, they even have more heads on the side of the boat. Um, let's see if it'll focus. In. There we go. And they're like custom heads too, but without the lower jaw. That's pretty awesome. Look at the cannon. There's even a dinghy. Very, very cool. Very impressive. Again, just to give you the scale of uh, everything, that thing is huge. This is, okay, just so you know, that's my hand, and that's how big this thing is, so. Next up is Annie. All right. The sun will come out tomorrow. Daddy Warbucks. We got the dog's name. Uh, then we have, I guess, um, I don't know what this is. It doesn't really have a card, but it's kind of like a free-for-all. Really cool structure. Pla I want to say Plastic Man? No. Mr. Uh, I forgot that superhero. Aquaman riding a Mixel. We have uh, a court session. We have a uh, scene uh, maybe from Harry Potter? I don't know. Okay. Then we have a Ghost Rider costume. So. Ooh. I think this is like Hero Factory stuff. Pretty cool. Twisted Metal Wagon. Twisted Metal Meat Wagon, Cousin Eddie's RV. We have Altitude. Look, it's a gasser. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Who Chef Moby? Then we have a uh, Failside RX-7. Pretty awesome. Ooh, a 1960 Cadillac. That's very cool. Bucket seats inside, everything. Cool. Then we have Rat Fink. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty amazing. Pretty awesome. And an orchid. Alright, here's the annual. Oh, check that out. You see a little think of flies buzzing around them, maybe. Super cool. 
Well, there you have it. This year's this year's annual designer con in Pasadena 2014. The annual uh, Lego uh, display. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Leave me any questions and comments down below. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.